Hi, it's Lauren, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the measure tool and another method as well to measure different pattern pieces when you're working with your sewing patterns. So let's get started. I've got here our T pattern with the sleeve and the bodice, and over in the tools I want you to go down to the eyedropper. Click on it and hold it down. and you will see the measure tool hidden under there. This is a great tool. So once you've clicked on that measure tool, you can come over anywhere on your artboard, and I'm gonna zoom in so you can see this, and you can click and drag between any two points, and a little measurement box will pop up and tell you the length of the line. You have to keep holding down the line, and or holding down your mouse key, or pad and then you can use shift to make that line straight so I'm measuring the widest point of this bodice here and I can see that the width is 8.8098 and you see that here in this info box that's popping up let's try another measurement we can measure from the top of the sleeve here hold and drag down to the bottom I don't need shift on this because this isn't um, a perfectly straight up and down line. And I can see that the height of my sleeve is 22.0155 inches. Again, that's right here in this info box. It will also tell you the angle that the line is at. So, for example, if you know that you're from your measurement chart that the shoulder needs to be at around a 23 degree angle, you can check that by clicking and dragging down and I've got well negative 160 so that's a 20 degree angle that that's going so I just subtracted 160 from 180 so that's about right that's that's within what I would consider to be a correct um, angle there so that's all good now the thing I don't like about the measure tool is that it doesn't snap to your lines or points so you can never be sure that you're exactly clicking on the line or the point that you want to measure from so what you can do there are a couple different things one is instead of using the measure tool you can just use a line so over in the tools click on the line segment tool and again if I want to measure from this widest point under the arm across to the center front then you can hover over that point and you see it'll tell you when you're intersecting so that makes it really nice click and hold down hold down the shift to keep that line straight and then it will also tell you when you intersected with that center fold line so I can see I've got 8.82 inches so that's another way to do it and then all you have to do is just delete that line another thing you can do that I do sometimes is I will use the rectangle tool so as an example, I can make a rectangle. Let's say that I want the widest point of this bodice piece, for whatever reason, to be exactly 10 inches wide. So I'm just going to, using the rectangle tool, click once on my artboard and the dialog box will come up where I can put in my dimensions. So I'm going to say I want it to be 10 inches wide. And the height doesn't matter, so I'm just going to put an inch click OK. So it's created a 10 inch wide box. So now I can line this up perfectly with my existing piece here and if I want to increase that to 10 inches instead of the 8.82 that we previously measured it at I can use the direct selection tool to alter that pattern piece until it's exactly 10 inches using that box. And then I can just delete the box. So that's another way to do measurements on your screen. So I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Thanks.